So this is the Parwald XTT202 ACDC. It's a 230 amp single phase TIG welding machine with AC or DC uh, welding output. So basically means you can weld any ferrous or non-ferrous metal with it, uh, with ease, up to about a thickness of uh, six millimeters. The machine itself is supplied uh, with a, uh, a two meter mains cable, a two meter gas supply hose, uh, a torch trigger plug and clamps for the uh, gas hose and a work return lead. If you buy the machine with the optional uh, torch package, you'll receive a Parweld ProGrip Max uh, TIG torch. The ProGrip Max TIG torch uh, is a fantastic torch, um, very flexible with a leather cover and ball joint on the back of the handle and comes fitted up with a uh, three button remote control unit. This allows you to uh, adjust the amperage up or down while you're welding. So really brings out the full features of the machine. And the back of the torch is configured ready to go straight onto the machine. We'll just run through the uh, controls on the machine. Uh, on the back of the machine, we've got the on off switch, uh, as mentioned before, the mains input cable and the gas supply connection. On the front of the machine, we've got the main operating controls. So on the front panel of the machine, we've got the AC or DC welding mode, uh, two TO40 uh, trigger operation, that's a momentary or latching operation, gas test button, HF start for TIG, and a TIG pulse mode. Over on the other side, we've got uh, a number of controls for uh, stick welding, uh, once you're in stick welding mode, you can toggle through adjusting the uh, arc length, uh, arc force and uh, hot start functions. On the, in the main area on the front of the machine, uh, we've got a uh, control knob here and toggle buttons to move backwards and forwards around the pictogram. So starting off with, uh, you've got the pre-flow, start current, ramp up, main welding current, ramp down, final current and post gas settings and you can see on the main display up here it toggles between the whichever function you're displaying so seconds percentage frequency and so on so it's very easy and straightforward to set and then lower down on the front of the machine you've got the positive connection for the work lead if you're a TIG welding um, trigger connection socket negative connection for the torch and the gas connection for uh, the torches also. So we'll connect the torch onto the front now. Uh, to torch into the negative socket, lock it up. Gas hose on. Trigger socket in. Correct orientation there. And then the work return lead into the positive connection. So it's ready to weld now. Switch on the machine at the rear. So we were set up to do AC welding for aluminium, uh, 40 trigger mode, HF start. Um, function wise, we got a 1.4 uh, millisecond uh, pre-flow, uh, 34 amp start current, 0.8 second upslope, 66 amps welding current, 1.6 downslope, 30 amp final current, two second final uh, pulse gas and then uh, AC balance about 24% and that's the amount of cleaning uh, we're going to get and a, an AC frequency set at, uh, currently at uh, 100 Hertz. Uh, I'll just now toggle back to display the amperage there.